All right, so this is going to be a, a quick walkthrough on how to set up a Netgear MR1100 or Netgear uh, Nighthawk M1. This is an LTE modem. Uh, it generally has some really, really fast speeds, has some integrated Wi-Fi functions on it as well, which make it pretty, pretty good to use. Um, and, but as far as uh, home usage, it has a few, uh, few things, a few extra configurations that need to be made in order to make it work properly for you. So the first thing you want to do is make sure everything is plugged up, uh, that your battery is installed, that it's attached to the charge block, and that you are attached to it via Wi-Fi or via Ethernet cable to a computer. Once you are connected to it, go ahead and uh, connect to a or open up a browser. That can be Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, Edge, uh, Firefox, etc. And go to 192.168.1.1. Now, it will prompt you to set up a, a mobile router password. Uh, this is the admin function for your router, or for the modem itself. Uh, so you do not want it to be the shared password as, as, uh, as Wi-Fi, so it needs to be something completely separate. Now, if you're going to use it as an actual hotspot, meaning you are planning on taking it on the road, with an RV, in a truck, on vacation, to your cabin, anything like that, um, you can set up Wi-Fi based on, you know, just out of the device itself. Now, uh, a disclaimer on that, that the Wi-Fi built into this modem is really not the greatest out there. It's not extremely high powered um, and it cannot handle a lot of devices all at once. And so it's not necessarily our recommendation that you do that unless you are doing it actually as a, a mobile hotspot. Now, if you are using it fixed at home, meaning it does not leave the shelf that it's on, it's connected to a router or something like that, um, you want to make sure that you have a wireless router that's attached to it as well. Um, that can be anything, you know, like a Netgear, a Linksys, a TP-Link, a Google Wi-Fi, Eero, etc. Uh, but you want something that's able to handle, has a little bit more robust uh, Wi-Fi features available on it. Now, with that said, sometimes you just want to use it as a Wi-Fi hotspot, and that's great. You can set that right here. So you can set your net, your network name there and your password there. Note, if you are connected on here via Wi-Fi, this will disconnect you, and you'll have to reconnect with the new credentials that you use. All right, so your setup is complete. You hit Apply. Uh, life should be good. So now there are a couple things that you want to, you want to take care of uh, that um, in case you're you're planning on using it as a fixed option in your home. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is go to settings. Uh, this will bring you to the generic uh, settings bar for, for your service. So this will tell you um, all the serial information, the IMEI, IMEI info, all that. You can also see all of the all the Wi-Fi information on here. So 2.4, 5 gigahertz, what the SSIDs and the passwords are for that. It will give you uh, all of your GUI and firmware information on here as well in case you need to troubleshoot anything with uh, with Netgear. Um, it'll also tell you uh, what network you're connected to. So you know, in this case, we're connected to T-Mobile. Uh, and then it also gives you diagnostic, hard, or diagnostic information. This is particularly useful in case you need to diagnose anything with us. Uh, so for instance, if you're having poor internet service and uh, you're not sure why, uh, generally these numbers are working with what what's gonna help us figure that out. So you have your uh, signal receive in right here with the radio band that you're attached to, uh, the quality of the signal that you're on um, and RSRQ and quality here. And then, um, and then you've got temperature readings on here as well because temperature does play a, a pretty big factor with this modem. You do not want it to overheat. Now for the things that you need to do to, to set it as a standalone modem, go to setup, Wi-Fi profiles, and go ahead and hit turn off Wi-Fi. Go ahead and hit apply, continue, and you are good to go. That was just a notice saying that if you were connected to it via Wi-Fi, it was gonna kick you off and you're gonna to have to get onto it via ethernet. Um, if you do this and you have no way to connect to it via ethernet, you will have to reset your router and just uh, work with it that way. You obviously don't wanna turn on Wi-Fi if you do not have an ability to connect to it via ethernet or through a router. You have wireless here. You want to go to uh, Wi-Fi standby and disable that option. Once again, hit apply. Mobile router setup. Go into the bottom here and hit disabled and apply. And then you'll also go to advanced settings cellular. Go to band region here. 
click LTE all and hit apply. Essentially that should take care of everything you need. It will take a minute or two for it to essentially reboot. And then you should be good to go. You can run a test, verify that everything is working like it should be.